hello guys and welcome back to our channel today we are making kotoje stew yes also known as cow foot yes kotoje stew is very delicious and it takes a long time to cook so if you are not really mentally prepared for this stew hey take a step back <laughs> yes so if you are new here kindly subscribe to our channel hit on the notification button to get notified anytime we post new and exciting recipes and if you're an old subscriber as we always say thank you for always sticking with us we love you we always appreciate you yes so let's get started first of all we clean our kotoji by scraping all of the unwanted part of it and all the hairs from it and we wash it as well you have to do this to get every little dirty particles off it yes and kotoje takes a very long time to cook back when we were young our mom used to cook this stew all the time she used to fill the pot with lots of water and leave it overnight to cook we didn't understand it <laughs> she always said ube <laughs> that's just by the way <laughs> go ahead and blend our garlic ginger onions we're using it to spice our kotoji because we're going to cook it for a very long time yes so you go ahead and add up all the spices you use for today we're using onion and garlic powder some smoked paprika for the cake we're using salt stock cube and of course we're using our onion garlic blended mixture and of course some onga stew you can always choose to use any spices you prefer yes so you make sure that you mix it very well so that isn't it very well and of course you need to taste it to make sure that it is that good yes so here is the part <laughs> that takes a very long time. You have to cook it till the meat is very, very soft. So you cook it, you add water and you cook it for some time. You let it boil. Then after some time, you go back and check if it's not soft enough. You keep on adding water till it becomes soft. So we go ahead and start prepping our stew. So we're using some tomato paste some fresh tomato our spices for our pepper mixture that's what we'll be using so in the blender we go ahead and blend it all together so we went back to check on our meat to see how tender it is at the moment and mind you you should not cook it is falling off the bones because we'll add it to our stew later to cook together later yes so let's start with our stew so in our pot we add our cooking oil and we add our onion to saute it and of course some green pepper just to make it smell very nice and i always like to add some garlic as well so you can choose to take that out so after the onions have sauteed for some time you go ahead and add your pepper mixture that's the pepper your garlic and all the other vegetables then you go ahead after the pepper has cooked for some time you go ahead and add your seasonings so here i'm using some curry nutmeg some onga stew a stock of cube some salt to taste So here you can choose to use any spices you prefer. 
so at this point you have to make sure that your stew is on low heat so that the pepper can cook very well and after your pepper is cooked you go ahead and add up your tomato paste we are going to fry this for about 10 to 15 minutes just so we can get the sour taste out of it no tomato paste always has this sour taste so we fry in it to get the sour taste out of it So after you fried it for about 15 minutes, you go ahead and add up your fresh tomatoes and you continue to stir. At this point, you need to cover it up a bit because the splattering from the tomato paste Charlie you will see terrible things if you don't cover it for some time so since our kotoje is not really really cooked till it's soft we add it to our stew so that we can completely cook it we add the kotoje and the sauce at, as well this reminds me of a story back in school we had um, a friend who was an international student she was um, from Sierra Leone and she loved kotoje anytime we were going to buy food she said are we going to get kotoje you're going to buy kotoje <laughs> yes that's just by the way <laughs> so you go ahead and stare continue to stir so that your stew doesn't get burnt and of course tasting is very essential when cooking so you must always taste your food to know if it's good or not and if you need to adjust the seasoning or you need to keep it that way and after tasting we needed to adjust the season so we went ahead and added more of the seasonings So at this point, oil begins to form on top of your stew. Then you know that your stew is about getting ready. Yes, it is that simple. But takes a very long time because you'd have to cook the cottage till it's very soft. The cow feet. So at this point, you add in your onion, green pepper and any garnishing of your choice. Yes. I'm sure you can tell that the stew is looking very nice <laughs> and of course trust me it tastes equally good just follow the recipe and you would have yours ready in no time so today we're pairing ours with some rice and of course it goes very well with yam as well it goes very well with spaghetti it goes well with plantain any side dish of your choice you can always pair it with that so that's all we have for you today we hope you will be trying this recipe and let us know how it goes always remember that Kotoje takes a very, very long time to cook. So, when you're ready to make this stew, you, you must be prepared to spend a whole lot of time in your kitchen. Yes, but trust me, it is worth it. Yes, when you make this stew, it is worth all the time. Yes. So, thank you for sticking with us and kindly... Remember to subscribe to our channel, Arrow Foods. 
as we always bring you new and exciting recipes so thank you till next time bye